like this mess up here. I just fed him pears and stuff and he had a whole pile of them and they're all gone except a couple of little pieces here. You didn't eat the nub, did you? You want that? Old dirty boy's been in here all day. Um, I went to the shell mitten site and I'm pretty sure after looking around there multiple times that that's a pot making site. There's not many points. There's not much bone in the midden. But there's a pile of shell and there's pottery everywhere. Um, I mean, it's everywhere. Every screen I'm finding pieces of pottery and some of it in this video is engraved with like really cool designs on it. Um, I'd say it's where women were set and making pots 800 to 1,000 years ago during the Mississippian cultural period. I did find some Madison points that uh, have tip necks and stuff. I, I find them there. I have one nice one from there. It looks like a drill, but it's a Madison. And I found a Jack's Reef there that's broke or an intrusive mound. I'd have to, it's broke, so it's back in one of the videos. But this will be my trip to a shell midden in the northern panhandle of West Virginia. And I mean, I find a bunch of pottery figs, a bunch, a whole frame full in one afternoon. And here's my pet squirrel, squirrel daddy. What's going on, buddy? He's a good boy. He's gonna come in and watch TV with me in a little bit. Aren't you? Aren't you, buddy? Look at him. I was missing you too, bud. We'll enjoy the video, folks. Later. Alright, I'm heading out on this stretch of the river. It's about a hundred, but it's not nearly as bad as like a dump. If you can take the dump, you can take this all day. Um, I'll be out here at least six, seven, eight hours, just non-stop. Um, it's a beautiful day. Looks like a painting. Um, but like I said, it's about a hundred. Later. See all these mayflies? It sucks when these things are, I mean, they're just, they're thick on that stuff. Look at them. But right in here is where I found that Flint Ridge tea drill. They stick to you when you're sweating. Oh, I hate this time of year with these stinking things. Watch this. They're everywhere. Look at this. Oh, look at how thick they are on new things. They land all over you, but that's what you gotta do to find stuff. I'm gonna get into sifting in here. Later. Getting much in these screens, you can see a few pieces of fire rock, and look at that, a piece of pottery and two pieces of green, and that's the bottom off of a blade. Look at that, and look at all that I got. This is a place that was loaded, but I uh, sifted a bunch in here, but there's still a bunch of stuff. Later. All right, I'll show you where I'm at. Let me get them up, I just found something. It's just a shard of pottery, but man, it's cool. I'll stay here in a second. Let me get in my pocket here. I've got shards of pottery and all kinds of flakes. Um, let's see here. All these flakes and look at all this pottery. Just piece after piece after piece down in here. Here's another piece that's flint tempered or shell tempered. I have to look at it. There's a piece with shell in it. Let's look at this piece I just dug. Now look at the other side. Oh, fakes. That's ancient art. Pre-Columbian ancient art off the Ohio River. Look at that line going across in the designs in the pot. It's an old break. You can see how it's been laying down in that decaying leaves and stuff, and it's all black. Oh, man. And I got that handle off of a piece here. This stuff. Look at that. Probably put in there with a stick. Look at that V in that pattern. Oh, that's cool. That's a cool one. Um, you can see they're showing my screen. It's ancient midden shell. I'm not finding much. There isn't much here, but I have a chance at a drilled shell bead. And I got a piece of midden bone up here. Where's that right here? This is ancient bone. 
right there. It's ancient bone. Um, oh, that's the shame that pot wasn't whole, but none of them will probably be whole. I'm sifting displaced material, but that's awesome. Ancient art, pre-Columbian. Look at this, fire rock. There's nothing else here. Nothing else on the shore. Um, except Indian material. All the rocks, Indian, all the shells, midden shell. Right there's another piece of pottery. Pottery, flint. There's not as much flint right in here, but I'll dig the pottery for a little bit. So there's a little finishing flake of tan. Pottery in every stream. Right. There's a vertebrae out of the midden of something. Right here's three pieces of pottery. Right there's a flake of black chert. But right there, see how that has a bend to it? That's like towards the top of a water bottle where it would have tapered in. There's pottery everywhere here. I'm trying to find a point. There's a little bit of flint. See, there's broken open river cobbles and there's little tiny flakes. See, there's another tiny little piece of shell tempered pottery, just tiny shards and there's bone and shell. See the shell there, it's all ancient shell. Later. The live screen here. See how the water's black? It's cause I'm down in the decaying leaf uh, layer and wood that's decaying under the ground that's washed in here when the water's been up. All the bones black in here, but I can see shell on the shovels. Um, I found, I don't know, 10 or 12 pieces of bent black bone that's been busted open to get the marrow out. Um, lots of pottery since my last clip, lots. I got a whole pile of it over there, enough to fill a frame probably. Um, I've been here for hours. But I'm just scraping that layer and loading it in my screen. These people were making artistic things and there could be anything laying here, something amazing. Laid up this screen, I'm scraping down in there about a foot underwater. mostly like Mississippian points on this site like Madison's but there's intrusive mound like Jack's Reef points too found one broken that would have been like that big let's see what's in here there's fire rock get that out of there this is brutal it's about a hundred degrees I've been out here for just hours I can stay all day in this you're in the water, so it's nothing like the dump this time of year. The dump's brutal. See, look at all the ancient shell, midden shell that's falling out of this bank. It's real thick, real heavy stuff. Look at it. Fleet this stuff off of it. flake right there, little flake of tan. There's another flake right there of tan. And you see all the shell, it's all ancient shell, all of it. There's a piece of pottery with engraved lines in it right there. 
it's show tempered and it's still got the show in it. That looks like it could have been drilled. You can't tell on a lot of the stuff, but it's raged. I don't see nothing else. I was hoping to get a point loss. See, there's another little, little flake right there. There's potential here. Just trying to stick with it till I find something cool. Another flake. You have to look at these screens real good down in this muck because see there's pottery right there that's shell tempered. Looks like another piece. That's bone, you can't tell, it's black. Didn't see nothing. Pottery, there's artifacts in every screen. It's just if they're nice, you know. But I will get back to you. That's a piece of a turtle shell. Ancient turtle shell. Right there, you can see the pattern on it. I've found turtle shell bowls before in other middens. That was probably used as a bowl. But anyway, I'll get back. Well, that's a bummer, ain't it? Look how nice that point's made. Right in that place I got started there, man. That's expertly made, that would have been awesome. I mean, I got a whole pile full of pottery over here, and look at all this pottery. And this one piece is just insane, look at that. Look at all this pottery. Just so much, it's ridiculous. I'm gonna take a drink break and go back in. I just got this and it's, you can see the red coming through, but it's so stained up from being in that shell. That's faceted hematite right there. You can see it. It's all just, look how faceted down it is. It's real heavy like lead. That's nice. I got a whole pile full of artifacts, just no points. Here's out of that same screen, huge piece of shell tempered pottery with the shell still in it because I'm on a midden some creed thing um there's just artifacts in every screen pottery shards every screen i got a whole well i'm working on a cool whip container full of pottery look at this screens all that ancient shell it's just nuts all right you can see i've dug all that down in there ah oh, the water's dropping but i mean for like at least 20 consecutive screens. I've got artifacts in every screen. Pottery, mostly just, you know, crappy pieces of rubbed hematite. I'll show it all at the end. I'll have to, I've been filming a lot of it, but I'll just have to cut it. He wants to see 30 straight screens with pieces of pottery. Um, see what this looks like on a midden site. I'd like to be finding more flint tools. But you're just, it's hard digging. That last tip would have been nice. Uh, there's a big flake of real nice material. There's a piece of pottery, shell tempered. Every screen there's pottery. It's just everywhere in here. There's another piece, just this section there, and there's a huge piece, and that has lines on it, you can see it. Big piece of pottery, and there's several little ones there. Oh, just one screen. There's another huge piece. Another big piece of thick pottery. This is like a site where there's that midden, and that's an ancient trash pit. There's another tiny little crapper piece. There's just so much pottery here. It's unbelievable. There's a piece of bone, a bone fragment. Ancient bone.
That's wood. I don't see nothing else. Look at that. And look at that pile of it in the boot. Man, there's some very interesting pottery showing up in here every once in a while. Here's the second piece. I got this. I haven't even looked through the rest of the screen. Another piece there, like a core. Look at that pile of stuff. Look at this. It's got circles up here. And lines going across it with circles punched in. Look, you can see them. It would have had circles all the way around it and lines. See the shell in it. It's shell tempered. Oh. Some of this stuff can be groundbreaking. I'll put up, you know, for ancient art. Look at that. That was a pot with circles in a seam on it with lines around the pot. And this is pre-Columbian Indian pottery. And I've got this piece. Look at all the pottery. But look at this piece here. Oh. This is some amazing stuff, some of it. Look at these two pieces. It's worth the trip now. Finding stuff like that. That's very interesting. Um, very interesting. Later. And I'm not going to be able to stay too much longer. I'm just feel like I'm dying, but see there's flint and stuff in every screen, but I got a point here. It's not nice, but it it puts the pottery in contact. I have nicer ones from here. I also have a shell pendant from here, a handle off another jug, or some kind of real ornate pot. But see that's got a nick out of the side and it's a Madison point. Some of them are just crudely made. But that's what it is. A little gray Madison um, with damage. But that's the era of point. I'd say this site's about a thousand years old from what's on it. Maybe just a little older because there's Jack's Reef stuff too. But there's really exceptional pottery. And they were making a bunch of it. Look at these two pieces and look at this pile of stuff. I guess I got that piece of hematite too right here. It, the facet's just smooth. You can see the red coming through, but it's all stained up because it was down in them. Right there's the red. You can see it. Now look how it's all faceted. And look at all that shell-tempered pottery. You can still see the shell in it. Some of it, see it? That's all shell. And it's Mississippian period. And I'm in West Virginia in the northern panhandle. Wow, these two ornate pieces are cool. But make sure you subscribe. You know, I'm only one man. I could use the subscribers. I could use the views. It's about 100 degrees. And I've dug all this down about this deep trying to find pieces of that pottery and little points for you guys to watch. I know a lot of you are older and indoors, can't look. This is what I do, fix. So I thought I'd bring you along. One should put the pottery in context for you. Got another broken Madison. It had to be broke, didn't it? It's been out here all friggin' day. But, right here. Let me get my head thing off. This is black and all the too. It's just a little one. But this one's more finely made. You can see I found a lot of these on my channel. Tip neck. Most of them are tip neck because they're real thin points. This is a true bow and arrow point. It's got light serrated edges. The basal thinning strikes to the base. You can see them there. They look like flutes, but they're not. They're just basal thinning strikes to facilitate hafting. That's right where it would have been thin to put on the tip of the arrow shaft. And you can see... I don't know, let's see, hold on and I'll get right back to you and show you this. Right here is how it would have been done. Um, I just pulled this off this tree. It's, I could make a bow and put the arrows right on it like this, but right on them basal thinning streaks, you can see that's about how it would have been up and then there would have been sinew wrapped around it and probably a little pine tar like pitch on this to hold the arrow on. And you can see this one's been shot. It might have been in an animal here. It might have hit a piece of bone in the animal. But these things were deadly. The little bows and with these. You know, this stuff's hard. That could I could make an arrow out of that easily off these trees. And nap little points here out of river cobbles. And that's exactly what they were doing. But you can see razor thin or razor sharp edges that are lightly serrated. 
um, just deadly. That's how it was done, fakes. It should put that pottery in context now with age. About a thousand years old, 800 to a thousand, I would guess. But there's another one. Second breaking one there, quick. Well, this is a good look into a Mississippian site in the northern panhandle of West Virginia. And man, there was some artists here. Look at that shell tempered piece right there. It looks like a piece of tile. Look at all the shell in that. Black canola. Look at that huge piece. It's as big as the palm of my hand. Let me set it down here. Pick it up. That piece is pretty wild. But look at this big piece of pottery. Man. And it's all shell tempered. It's stained up black because it's down in that muck. It'll lighten up. Man, that's a big piece. I, yeah, I know. I said I was going to go. I'm going to stick it out as long as I can. My back hurt. But, all right, here's all the stuff I'm bringing home. These are my two favorite finds. This very ornate with the circles on it, pottery, and this other design piece. Got this piece of hematite. Got a tip off of what would have been something awesome. Ah. Uh, two broken Madisons. There's another piece of rubbed hematite right there. All of this pottery and these flakes. There's just tons of pottery. There's lots of bone too. That's bone. It's that's bone. It didn't look like it but it is. That's bone. It's all out of that midden. Right there's bone. Probably a leg bone off a of deer. Um, you can see it here. This is a good look into a Mississippian site bone lots of flakes and I'm real happy with the pottery it's got the shell in it um, it's pretty cool there's a weird piece with with a taper to it more bone more bone shell tempered there's lots that's all I got but it's a victory for that pottery and the hematite's nice later all right these cases that I use are called Riker mounts, R-I-K-E-R-M-O-U-N-T-S, Riker mounts, or Riker case, C-A-S-E. You can see they have little pens that go in them and they're great for displaying stuff like this. You can buy them on eBay by the cases or by singles. Um, but man, I found this here. This is a handle and a rim off a very cool pot. Look at this artistic divot in it here it's would have been awesome shell tempered off this same site it, I was kind of looking at it I don't think it's these ornate pieces that I found today but I do think that these circles are off this same pot you can see the line and the line here I'd say it went all the way around the pot and then up above the line here would have been more circles and I would say these circles were made with either a small reed and most Likely they were made with a hollow turkey leg bone. That's about the diameter of them. I've seen them before They probably had one Sure filed it down on um, a piece of sandstone and They were using it to do that They put these circles in the pots um, But you can see it there. These very good finds. You can see how they're starting to lighten up Shell tempered again, Mississippian cultural period associated with the little Madison points. There's the broken one from this video. This one would have been really nice. This is the one I had on the stick. Um, but tip ding. And this might be a Mississippian knife, some kind of a knife. It's really nicely made. Light serrations on the edge. Would have been a dandy. But all the points, a lot of the points are break here. But you can see, all in one day, folks, whole frame of pottery, right there. Um, and I put the piece of hematite in there in the northern pan handle of West Virginia. I found a lot of it near that place. But man, I can't put this in there because it's too thick. They make raker mounts that are thicker. I'll have to get one for the other um, pieces. But right here is that piece of that turtle shell. You can see the lines where the top would have been. This is the top of the shell. Um, they were probably using it as a water cup or a ladle, but it's all destroyed. 
this pottery is pretty fragile. It's hard to find a crock from 1880 complete. I've found them on my channel, but this stuff's, you know, a thousand years old. And it's way more delicate. But man, I love finding this artistic stuff and the circles are just phenomenal. I, you can see there the the gap. I'd say this had lots of different designs and I would have liked to seen it. But we'll get keep going back. Make sure you subscribe. We'll try to get as much of this engraved pottery as we can. Look at this chunk. Shell tempered. The shell still in it. See how it looks. This piece is nice too. It really shows the shell tempering. It's just a little ground up muscle shells like I find in them screens. But here's the stuff. I bring all of this stuff. This is all midden bone. You can see how it's lightening up now. These are deer bones. Um, lots of flakes. Some more hematite, some cores. I found that this is a stone. I, I think it's natural. But it's odd, it's right in the middle of an Indian site. I'm not sure. I'm going to keep it. And midden shell. I brought a piece, a couple pieces. It's real brittle. It's real brittle. Brought it to show you. Probably put this stuff in the flower bed. There's another little piece of pottery I'll keep. I didn't see that one. There's another piece of bone. There's another piece of bone. But that'll be it on this. There's a broken blade. Um, there's a bone. I'll probably get back here in a day or so and try to dig more of this to so make sure you subscribe. And I'll show you the frame here after I get the lid on. Alright, here you go. All in one trip. Whole collection of pottery. Shame all three of the points are broke. And the blade over here. I got that blade too, I guess. There's the points. But there, it's a good look into this cultural period. And you know, man. Imagine finding that with that strap handle on it. It's all engraved. It's, you know, it's, you're lucky to even find it like that. That much of it. It's a pretty good find. But this stuff. <clears throat> man. This art, art pottery from a thousand years ago in the northern panhandle of West Virginia. You know, if it wasn't in that midden, all this shell would be leached out. And I doubt any. See, that's just packed with shell. Some of it every once in a while is flint tempered, but not really on these Mississippian sites. The Riverton people, these little flint ridge points, tempered their pottery with flint. You don't see any flint in this, but sometimes it'll show up. But it's probably the Riverton people, just a multicultural site. But all in one day. And I will go back, and up here and up here will be two other videos of maybe where I was on the midden. I found a shell pendant there and I'll put them videos at the end. I'll maybe go back here tomorrow, we'll see. Get another video. I like this pottery. That's pretty impressive for one day. And it was hot. I was going slower than usual. Um, but anyway, later folks, up here and up here will be two more videos where I was on this site. 